Hi everybody, it's Olivia from Girly Branches. Um, today I thought I would show you how to make a simple hexagon. Um, I've covered squares, so I thought um, the hexagon is such a pretty shape. <laughs> and um, when joined together uh, to make a, a blanket, it's just really cute and different, you know. Or you can, um, you know, use that as a hot plate um, trivet, I think they're called, aren't they? If you want to put something hot down. You could make it out of cotton, maybe not the acrylic that I made it with, <laughs> might melt. But if you used cotton, like a really thick cotton, uh, if you look on, um, well, eBay as usual, <laughs> if you just put dishcloth cotton in, you'll find that you'll be able to get hold of um, the white cotton that's um, it's really quite thick. Um, you'd need a size 5mm, 6mm hook for that, so it's quite nice and chunky. And obviously, being cotton, it... Um, washes up a treat so um, yeah a hexagon it's really simple to do um, I've just um, done in different shades here just to help you see um, the different rows but yes let's um, get started okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start with my um, well not my but the, the magic loop that I like to use and I'll put a link down below on details on how to do that but um, what we're going to do is into the loop of course you could start it with doing the chains if you wanted to I think probably four or five chains if you wanted to do it that way but what we need to do is we need to do six um, groups of trebles which are crocheted together which um, I believe I've shown you that as well so I should put another link down below on how to do that so we're going to do six groups of those into this one loop and we're going to have three chains between each one so let me do the first one to show you what I mean so there's um there's the first group and then we'll do three chains and then do the next group like that so very similar to how the baby hat started if you've um if you've seen that um that video get some more yarn there okay right i'll just um carry on doing the next groups okay so um done those 3 now uh 6 so I'll just do the last chain of three and I'll pull this tail down here and that closes up that middle like that and then I'll just slip stitch into the top of this group over here and that closes that first round one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, good. Okay, so I'm going to stay with this colour yarn. I'm going to do the next row. And in the next row, we're going to slip stitch into the space, into the three chain space. And then we're going to do two groups of three in each chain space. So there's one group. Move it over a bit. I'm going to chain three again, and then do the next group inside the same space. Like that. Okay. So, chain three. And we're just going to do another two groups in this next chain space. Chain three. And do another group. Okay, so I'll carry on and come back when I've got back round to the end again. 
Okay, so I've done all my groups, just doing the last group now. And then I will chain three again and then slip stitch into the top of the very first group that we did. And that will finish off the second round. So I'll just cut that now. Okay, so that's the first two rounds, and so we'll, just to recap, we've done six in the middle and then two groups in each of the chain three spaces between those group first groups. Okay, it doesn't really look like a hexagon at the moment, <laughs> so um, don't panic, that's right, that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, let's go for a different colour now. Sorry about my squeaky chair. <laughs> okay. So in the next round, what we're going to do is we're going to do one group in the first space, and then we're going to do two groups in this space, and I'll do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Okay. I hope that makes sense. I shall show you what I mean. By the way, you can start in any of these, you know, as long as you um, follow the pattern of one group and then two groups. So here's our first group of three trebles, which are going to be crocheted together, as we've done in the other rows. And then we'll do our chain three space as before. And then in this area here we're going to do two groups like we did in the row before. And then chain three between them just like you did in the row before. Okay. So in this space here, where my thumb is, that is going to be one group in there. So we're just going to repeat that all the way around. That's one group and then two groups in here. Chaining three again between them. Okay, so it's starting to make a slight shape now, and I will just carry on round until we get back to here again, continuing with one group in there, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we've, um, I'm just going to do my last set of three together. Uh, there we go. And then chain three and slip stitch into the top of that first group. So there we go. Doesn't have the uh, hexagonal shape yet, but um, this next row will sort that out. So let's just um, talk about this. So we've got three rounds of um, groups of trebles. The next round we're going to do, we're just going to be normal trebles, so they won't be grouped together as they did in the previous rounds. If you can see here, they're just normal trebles. So what we're going to do. We're gonna start. We're gonna slip stitch into here, and we're gonna do three trebles. And this one here, because there's two groups here, we're gonna fill this corner. We're gonna fill this up and make a corner. So we're gonna do three trebles, two chains, and three trebles in the same space here, and that will make the corner. Then we'll do three trebles, three trebles, and two trebles with the two chain space in the middle. 
so it's going to be one lot, two lots, one lot, one lot, two lots, one lot, one lot, two lots. So in every space where there's two together, we're going to do the two lots of trebles. So if I just do it, that should make sense. Okay, so we'll slip stitch into this here so that we can now work in this, this space here and just do the three normal trebles as you would normally do but not like we did in the previous rounds. Then we're going to go, not going to do a, a, a spacer, we're just going to go straight into the next space and do three more trebles and because this is the one that we're going to make our corner we're just going to put two chains in between the two lots um, the two lots of three trebles I hope I'm making sense guys and now you can see we've made a corner so what we need to do now is work our way down to the next group of two to make another corner so we're going to do three trebles and three trebles So we haven't done a spacer, we've just gone straight into the next space and that's what I'm going to do here. Another three trebles, just normal and not together. Give it a little adjust, there we go. So in this one we're going to make another corner. I hope you can see that alright. So. three trebles, two chains and then another three trebles in the same space so hopefully you can see that there, that that got two corners Okay, I'll carry on just as I did before. Okay, so now I'm just going to do that last set of trebles in um, that last space and just join it together with a slip stitch at the top of that, fir that first, um, oh, yeah, there we go, 
um, yeah, that first treble of the row, and I'll just um, yeah, I'll finish with that bit of yarn now. And as you can see, it's now taken on its hexagonal shape. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm I'm just going to just go around the edge with um, with a darker colour. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it for the um, the video, really. But it, I think it does look pretty <laughs> with the shades. But um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'm just going to do a simple single crochet. So I'll do two in that gap there and then I'll just do one in the top of each treble that I did in the previous row. So I'll come back once I've um, done that. Okay, so there you go. I've gone around the edge. Like I say, it was you didn't have to do that. Um, I quite like doing it because it just it straightens off that, um, neatens up that edge, and obviously you'd sew in the ends. But if you wanted to, then um, you could crochet those two or sew them together, and then obviously you'd have another one that would fit in there, and so on. You could make a really, <laughs> really pretty, um, well, anything really, waistcoat <laughs> if you wanted cushion cover, blanket, whatever you want. But yeah, I think that's really pretty. So um, yeah, that's how you do a basic hexagonal. I hope you find that uh, useful. Nice to do something slightly different um, than the squares. And as you can see, very simple again. If you wanted to um, make a blanket um, or know how to sew those together, um, I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning. <laughs> Um, there'll be um, I'll put a link down below to the videos that I put up on how to make um, granny squares and sewing those and, and crocheting those together. So, yeah, enjoy, have fun with that. Um, let me see what you've been making. Would like to see, and um, good luck on the giveaway. Don't forget, there's a giveaway going on until the 9th of um, February. So, um, I'll put a link down below to the video on that one as well. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye.